Call me lasagna the way this G's silent, yo. Leono? <sighs> Welcome to the Super Better Cast. I think this is episode 14. I'm not good at math. I, it's weird to me because it feels like we've done a thousand of these, but... We really haven't. No, we haven't. It's just because every day that when we talk, we have a conversation, it feels like we're casting. Yeah, I guess. This is a very, like, it's... It, it's kind of hard to not come off as though we're playing characters because like we just enjoy each other's company so much so whenever we need a real talk it's always like how are you feeling buddy yeah are you, are you checking <laughs> on off water stare at each other in the eyes <laughs> yeah yeah I'll, like, I'll look you in the eyes and i'll put on like this gentle kind of sound in my voice but otherwise it's always like you're a freaking fool no look at my toes mm, <laughs> cheeto cheeto toes they call them cheetos for a reason. <laughs> You finally Ew. saw the ad, did you? Oh, no. Oh, you still haven't seen that ad? Oops. Water. Okay, well, now we're going to on the docket. Nasty. <laughs> <sighs> Speaking of Cheetos, um, I, I had spicy Dorito fingers. I licked them clean, mm -hmm. and then Titan was in my lap, and he was munching on my fingers. And I was like, <gasps> <laughs> he liked the cheese. You know what bothered me when I was a kid is the bag. Because, like, the bag? Yeah, the hot Cheeto bag. Because it was always, like, dangerously cheesy. And I was just like, these aren't cheese. These are hot Cheetos. Oh, ah, that's just the Cheeto slogan. Yeah, I know. I didn't know that as a kid. Uh, the, the other thing that drove me nuts was the little fire guy on the back of the bag. Mm -hmm. It always said, there's a fire in this bag. You thought he was supposed to be in there? I thought he was a little toy. Aww. Aww. <laughs> you don't have anything to add to that? No, I was just thinking like a calcifer little guy. Like, I I remember there was like two weeks in a row that I stole this chick's freaking Hot Cheetos. <laughs> just for the toy, and both like both times I was like, the bitch took the freaking toy. Aww. How, they don't put toys in anything anymore. I know, it's too expensive. Even the freaking Cracker Jack toys are like... Turned the, into stickers. The prizes are just stickers, and most of the time, you'll just freaking rip them when you try and take them off. Yeah, because they're those cheap-ass thin stickers. Yeah, I was going to say, I swear to God, one time it was like, here's your prize, and it was just like a freaking piece of paper that just had a... Like, it was like a piece of cardboard, even. Like, like, like a cardboard. homemade fucking sticker. But it, didn't, it wasn't a sticker. It was just a piece of cardboard yeah. with like a freaking bird drawn on <laughs> by some Indonesian slaves. <laughs> and I was looking at it. I was like, freaking what? I I I don't even remember when, what Cracker Jack things used to be. It's like my, my dad. My dad used to talk about. Oh, we used to get a freaking bar of radium and each freaking box of Cracker Jacks. Uh, no, they talk. Yeah, like a lead car or fucking <laughs> something that was dangerous. I remember my father did mention one time getting a car, like mm -hmm. a little toy car. Mm -hmm. and I was just like, damn shit. Whistles. All kinds of shit. That sounds fun. That sounds amazing. As a, as a kid, I would just be like, Cracker Jacks, we need to get Cracker Jacks. Because I'm going to get a kazoo. Yeah. Yeah. That's not fucking fair. No. I'm going to play Monopoly with my fries. Do you remember the big controversy with the McDonald's Monopoly thing? Where, like, nobody could actually win? Yeah, it was actually impossible to win. Yeah. And then there was the other, there was the thing about... Why do you think uh, they don't do it anymore? <laughs> yeah, I know! <laughs> there used to be all those crossovers, all those commercials that would just be like, play to win. You could be one of 200 winners in freaking Taco Bell's freaking Great American Challenge giveaway. Yeah. It's a giant rubber fist. <laughs> the Great American Challenge is actually a legendary dildo. Uh, Luigi told us about it. Do you remember? I don't want to talk about it. It's a red, white, and blue striped freaking dildo that's the size of my forearm. <laughs> yeah, it was not It was not pleasant to hear the story, but the very thought of somebody taking the great challenge. I, I miss, like, instant prizes for things. Like, Taco Bell had that little, that little thing where you drop a coin, and it was just a trick to get kids to donate their money. Yeah. But if you landed on one of the platforms, you'd get, like, a quesarito or something, like a bean and cheese. Oh, yeah. And it was like, oh. And then, like, the Mountain Dews and the Cokes, you, it, like, you know, during summer or whatever, it'd be like, oh, open, you know, check under your cap for a prize. And so, and so you, you'd twist your cap, and it'd be like, oh, you get a free soda. And I'm like, yeah. oh, fuck yeah. And then you have one for later. 
And that was, you know, they didn't need to give cars away. No. You know, they didn't need to give away $20,000. It's just like, hey, you can get a free soda. You can get a free case of sodas. And then there's freaking people who buy that shit in droves. I was into it. It worked on me. Fucking awesome. You don't you do were, that no more. Now you have to, like, go to a website, give your email address. Yeah. Like, ugh. You fill in a prove, code. You need to prove that you are one unique freaking visitor to this website. You have website. to take a picture of your receipt and your fucking social security card. You need to give them a ball print. <laughs> The left one. Except for when they ask for the right, you gotta go all the way down to the freaking... Okay, I just had a thought. What? Left ball, right? Huh? Right nut. Yeah. Uh? Right ball doesn't sound right. Right nut sounds right. Just, if you put nut... <laughs> nut's just a funny word. You fucking sent me baby baby nut the other day. Yeah, for, first, first I, I, my heart dropped. For a second, because I was like, you better finish this freaking sentence. Because we were just talking about balls. Uh Uh-huh. And then you were like, you sent me baby... (laughs) Okay. (laughs) It was just like... Never mind, can't tell that on the show. I didn't send you shit. (laughs) What are you talking about? (laughs) I'm in the public eye now, to a degree. (laughs) Hmm. That sucks. I was thinking about all that Mr. Beast stuff earlier. Oh, God. And I was just like, damn. Just being in the public eye, you just can't be a freaking drooling idiot. Well, uh, here's the thing, though. They make it look so hard to, like, be a, 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 a like, they're all freaks. You yelling really loud. Why are they all freaks? I, well, I'm not even talking about the pedophile thing. Like, it, it feels incredibly freaking easy to not be a pedophile. <laughs> you know, I've never tried anything to the contrary, but, you know, just not being attracted to children has been a breeze. Oh, yeah. So, um, like, like <laughs> when it comes to all the other shit, shit, like, they're just withholding people's medication. They're not, like doing all these safety procedures it's like bro you already spent the money you already got the bodies pay your employees why are you going so big if you can't pay it's just like it it doesn't need to be ten thousand people in your squid games if it's 40 people will watch yeah i don't get it because it's always for kids that sucks that's what sucks is that all the money is there for kids because kids will watch anything multiple times yeah i know except for me I'll do that shit too. I watched the shit your our niece was watching. It was like, oh my god. I actually sat through an episode of SNL somewhat recently of my own accord. Oh my god. Well, okay. So like, I don't, I don't really mind content like that. Yeah. But it's it's the sensationalized like, is this cake? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So you don't mind SNL, or you don't mind the, the Mr. Beast style. No, I hate the Mr. Beast style. Okay, what is the content like that? That clickbait shit. Okay. Like, like SML, it does one thing. Okay. It's got the puppets, it makes the funny. Yeah. All right, it's like a show. But, you know, it's... It's it's the pogging and the fucking... Oh, God, yeah. Like, like the, those Mr. Beast thumbnails are freaking terrifying. Like, whoever's photoshopping him, he's got to freaking execute them. <laughs> they make him look like a freaking ghost. Like, his eyes are just, like, the most piercing possible color. And not in that, like, that way that's always described in books, where it's like, oh, it's he, it, he pierces me with his eyes. It's like, he looks like an analog horror <laughs> jump scare. And they just, they turn up the sharpness so he looks pink. Mm-hmm. And the, the contrast, so he looks pink, and then the sharpness, so it looks like he's, like, layered on top of the thumbnail, and it's, like, textured, and you could feel all of his face wrinkles. Yeah, if you just reach out and touch your phone. Yeah. Uh, this is like, what? Don't, don't do that. It's like, the, the whole, like, background is baby blue. It's weird as fuck. It looks freaking awful. And then there's all those people who, who try to, like, emulate that style, and they get, like, 20 views, and it's like, don't do that! It just looks bad. Like, our, as far as thumbnails go... I like ours. I make our thumbnails. Yeah. And a lot of them look like freaking ass. But that's just because I couldn't think of anything. And I was just like, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that, that's, that's what you, that was the extent of my skill. That's what you got. I... It's earnest and I like it. No, that's like... 
there's there's like passion there, right? There's character. Yeah. Um, I like one. Of, that's one of my favorite things about our thumbnails is that I always make us do something. Mm -hmm. Like in the new Vegas playthrough, I am your stand, but you are physically like. You're in front of the New Vegas thing, because the, uh, well, New Vegas, mm -hmm. because I was like, what am I going to freaking do? I don't want to, like, draw a little scene of you fighting a Cazador or something. I have to get that picture. So mm -hmm. I was like, all right, whatever. I'm just, I'll be your stand, and it looked great. Uh, and then in the Spyro playthrough, the first one. Oh, yeah, the first or, one. That was well, fun to put together. Spyro 1, not the first thumbnail. Oh. That one hasn't come out yet. You're playing with a stick in a well while I'm telling Spyro secrets about his future. <laughs> Uh, the Resident Evil one where... <laughs> You're on the phone with Dimitrescu and I'm trying to take care of baby Chris. Yeah. <laughs> We're in her house. <laughs> She's not happy. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Like, I, I'm, not, one, I'm not looking at you. By the way, I want, I want this on the record. That was all you. Yeah, it was. That was brilliant. <laughs> Although I will take credit for the Resident Evil 4 one. Where you're partying on Huey's back with uh, cardboard cutouts, with a cardboard cutout of Ada, while oh. we both ditched. Oh yeah, Ashley's like in the, the ground. Ashley, and I've got a freaking bear trap on my head because I stepped in all of them. Yeah, you did. Fucker. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. I'm sorry. You did it like three times already. Well, hey, now you know how it feels. <laughs> I asked for that one. <laughs> Although I will Sound say, attack. The, ten the tension that my body created, you caught me really off guard. So it hurt. <laughs> that was physical pain. <laughs> Titan also looks very unfazed. He is cute. He has been hanging out in roommate A's um, room lately. Yeah, like a little freaking weirdo. I think it's warm in there. Yeah. Oh my god, it's fucking hot in there. Yeah, well, I mean, first off that, but also, I've never lived in a house where somebody used the AC. Mm -hmm. There was like a three-month period where when we lived up in, up in uh, the desert, mm -hmm. my father was like, okay, fine, you could use the central air. And, oh my god, the bills. Oh, yeah. But it was bearable. And then we never did it again because it was incredibly expensive. Mm -hmm. But over here, homie's just like, no, I'm not living in a house that's not 71 degrees. Dude, it's bad. I'm getting spoiled. Yeah. Like, like it, it was like 76 yesterday and I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that's ridiculous. I. I don't have that problem. If I'm faced with a convenience, I'm just like, okay, I'm, I'm glad I have this. Yeah. But we don't need it. Yeah. So I'll just, like, go outside and just be like, this is what the world should feel like. Well, I, like, since since we've established that we're allowed to touch the thermostat, the thing hasn't frozen over. Yeah. So, so that's nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Because it's it's easy it's easy to forget to like lose yourself to these conveniences and then just be like like come in from out, from outside right mm -hmm. and let's say it's a hundred just a hundred degrees outside it's gonna be like a hundred and six so you oh my god <laughs> so you walk into a house mm -hmm. that is seventy degrees that's a huge freaking difference that's gonna feel great it's delicious but let's say you are in eighty degree weather. And it's a little hot, like it's a dry or maybe moist, I don't know, whatever it is that makes it feel hotter. And then you walk into a house that's 70 degrees, it's, it, it doesn't feel like as much of a change. And instead of letting yourself ventilate that heat over time, drinking some water... You get water, impatient and turn it down to 65. You get impatient and you turn it down to 65 and then suddenly it's really nice. <laughs> and you stand in front of the vent. And then it gets too cold. <laughs> and then you walk away to go warm up and then it's like, well, well hold on, there's still a machine on. <laughs> Th that's the kind of thing I'm talking about where it's like, you, you can get, you can just lose yourself to your conveniences. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm bundled on their blankets right now. Before you came in bed, I, I was like, I'm cold, but you're giving off heat, so I'm fine. I'm giving off a lot of heat. I was down there, because uh, we, were, we, were we were doing renovations. Yeah. And... Uh, we did good. Kiki, Kiki did the best work. 
me me and the and the the, the Ms. mother hen Ms. Business? Yeah, Mrs. Business. We we were drawing on the wall. Is it Mrs. or Ms.? Ms. Business. Yeah, I like Ms. Business. Yeah. But yeah, me and Ms. Business were, were drawing on the wall and uh the men were Yeah, we were putting up tires. Yeah. <laughs> I was like we like we were all trying to help, but then like we were just like, okay, can you leave some freaking work for us? We're just freaking trying. Yeah, we, we started cackling. We were like, this got done much faster when the men got out of the way. Yeah, we really did have to leave. <laughs> but hey, we got like eight things done. Dude, we got so much done today. It was awesome. My, my biggest concern is going to be walking in there and then one of the, like, just like something fell off the walls and it's like, I was the one that did <laughs> all that shit. So it's, it's going to look really bad. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be my fault. Like, I don't, Dude, I don't did know. that tire rack only hold like four tires? Yeah, it held a, it held a set of tires and a spare. Which oh, okay, I, yeah, guess, I, I guess I guess normal people don't have four sets of tires. Four. How many sets of tires did this man have? Six. <laughs> I'm actually kidding. It's three, <laughs> but that's still like twelve tires. Yeah. Oh, speaking of fucking tires. <laughs> we <laughs> Am I about to learn something? No! I just haven't talked about it on the show. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. fucking assholes around here. So we haven't lived in like a city in a while. Oh yeah, it's it's been a good minute since I've been near a city. Some motherfucker took my tire! Yeah, they just took a tire. They left all the bolts on the floor. Yeah, they just wanted the tire. Like they even left the hubcap. And the jack. And their screwdriver, which is now in the house. Yeah, that was a really good screwdriver. I'm glad they left it. <laughs> Although I would have just gladly taken the screwdriver and they leave the tire, but... Well, I'm kind of scared to go back and look, because, like, we haven't... Yeah, they, they, it, like... It, it, like, well, did they just prep it to take my catalytic converter? Well, if they were gonna... If they were gonna... I feel like if they were gonna take your cat, they would have done it. You know what I mean? Because, like... I don't know. That That's already a hot spot. Now we know about them. I, I guess... I don't know. It's so stupid. I'm and trying to find a place for the phone. Sorry like, if it sounded weird for a second. It's like right by the train track. So it's like, yeah, okay, I guess. And I'm not allowed to shoot them from the balcony because that would be illegal. Well, honestly, like if we kept watch out there or like we had like a little motion sensor and it was like, <laughs> and, and you had your fucking airsoft gun, I wouldn't even be mad. I think that'd be funny as fuck. To that'd shoot still them from be the illegal. Bu- no, I'm protecting, you're protecting my property. Yeah, but you'd have to. I'd have to be there. Like I'd have to. I'd have to like <laughs> across the street. <laughs> Fuckers. Why was I gonna say in blackface? I don't know. <laughs> I Snoo Snoo was asking um, about like our our setup right now, and I was like, I, I have to find out if I have work because everything depends on that. Oh yeah. Well, I, I, one way or another, it'll have happened long before this oh, podcast yeah. comes out. But one way or another, I'm 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 recording with uh, Meme John. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I could absolutely do with this dude's sense of humor right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I told Snoo like, yeah, we found out that you know somebody stole my fucking tire, so you know we're <laughs> we're that remedying is, that. That isn't to say that Snoo is not as refreshing a personality. Just that I he didn't say anything. Oh no! Yeah, he he asked me. He didn't ask you. So yeah. that like that, yeah. I'd have told him no anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. We love Snoo. Um, Hope you're doing well. Don't yeah. get robbed. Yeah. Um, it was just nice because he was like, I don't know how you guys deal with this constant stream of shit happening to you. Well, when your parents don't love you, you kind of don't have a choice. Well, like that, it's like, oh yeah, I've, it's, I've been through worse, and that sounds stupid, but like, what I ended up telling Snoo was like, you know, I, the energy being put into being mad about shit like this, it, it's, it's not worth it anymore. Yeah. Like, a couple of years back, I would have been like, <laughs> um, but, you know, after the initial bullshit, it's like, you know, you're safe, my cat's on my butt right now. We had burgers today. It's 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 ridiculous. It's fine. Whatever, stupid fuckers. Like if if one bad thing happened today, a thousand good things happened. Mm-hmm. And while that one bad thing's pretty bad, mm-hmm. there's still a thousand good things. There's still food in the fridge. You know, like yeah. I, I cooked up burgers for you. Yeah, because like I told him, you know, like losing 
like, because he, he mentioned, like, you know, when you got in the car accident, and I was like, honestly, I was just really glad he was safe. Like, it did suck. All of it sucked. And it's exhausting dealing with it, but you were safe, and that's what kept me going. Like, oh, cool. Um, and, like, with Zippo, it was like, you know, we all grew closer together. I miss her. God rest her. But, you know, she left us with a lot. A lot of lessons and stuff. L- losing something... It's a lot like, it's a lot like if you like think about it like this if you were to snap your fingers and just like remove a section of water from a pool mm. all the water would rush in to fill that area mm-hmm. I play so Minecraft what you have then fills that area yeah there might be a little less in it but it's got to maintain its shape yeah there's just so much more around me to be grateful for and to enjoy huh? I forgot where the rest of that metaphor was going. I know what you're saying, though. I'll also say that, that like, what, you, what you're explaining is summed up in that, that goof that I always tell. Well, I mean, it's not a goof, but, like, whatever. When I'm just, like, I've been stabbed before. <laughs> you're like, oh, God, we gotta go up the stairs. It's like, I don't, I don't give a shit. You're like, really? It's hot outside. I've been stabbed before. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, Snoop pointed out, like, that's that's, like, getting older. And I was like... Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like you know, like when when you're younger, you got so much freaking energy to be upset about things. Mm-hmm. He said that too. It's like I, if you if you upset me, I'm just like, hey, can we just like hit each other a couple of times so that I don't got to deal with this for the rest of my life? You're just like, okay. Bonk 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 bonk. <laughs> I was hoping you'd like give me like a a wet slap too, and it would just sound like a really pathetic fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bonked you and then just let you hit my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm freaking old now. Yeah. Like my back's messed up. My uh, everything's wrong with my body. Yeah. It's like, you know, like even like four or five years ago, I got really pissed off about politics, and it's not that I don't care anymore. It's just that I, <laughs> I, I, I'm here and I'm like, yeah, damn. Let's try to, mm. to mitigate this genocide. <laughs> like, I think it's funny. I, like, I, I saw a post years ago that was like, I don't even check the freaking signs no more. What am I going to just not get gas? Oh, yeah. And I was like, yeah. yeah when like, you said that, I was like, huh. <laughs> no, you were, you fought me like I really did. Hard. I you did. Like, but but it's it, 20 cents cheaper there. And I, was I still like, try, but I won't go like three miles anymore. Yeah, I was like, it's 20 cents. What does that equal? Like $3? What but are you going to buy fuck Shell. $3? I'm never going to Shell. Nobody's no. going to trick me into that. No, they put poppy seeds in their gas. Poppy seeds. Yeah, that means that your your but, your car uh, gets addicted. Your car, yeah. <laughs> I was trying really hard to say that. I'm really glad you <laughs> figured out the rest of that sentence. I know you, dude. We're we're connected. We are. I don't like that sometimes. Why? Because <laughs> like, I don't know. It's kind of creepy. Jesse had that the other day too. I like I said something. Um, I think it was about his girlfriend's outfit. And he looked at me in the rearview mirror, and I was like, what? And he's like, get out of my head. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're just very intuitive. Yeah. Like, you're kind of, God bless, you're kind of freaking dumb, but you're very intuitive. What the fuck? I don't know. You're kind of dumb. I'm kind of dumb. Oh, yeah? What's this square? Parallelogram. See? You don't even know. <laughs> freaking dumbass. Rhombus. Okay, now you get it right. I hated those. Fuck those questions. What the fuck was that era of math? The slide flip turn. No, the parallelogram is a square. Sometimes, oh. all the time, not at all. Or well, like, okay, here's the thing. Fuck that, off. That would have been a fascinating foundation on which to teach me, like, logic. Mm-hmm. But it died there. So when they were just like, every square is a circle, but not every triangle is a square, I said, what? <laughs> and then they were like, yeah, think about that. <laughs> Drops the fucking the <laughs> chalkboard marker. Just drops the whole whiteboard. <laughs> Do you remember those smart boards? Yeah, they never used them. Dude, they fucking that felt like money laundering or something because it had to be. They they bought all those for our school district, and then they sent all the teachers to training over the summer, and they were fucking miserable. They they were bitching about it when we got back to school. And they still didn't know what to do with the fucking thing. Like, I feel like out of, out of spite, they would just... Because, like, I, a teacher would... 
push that thing further and further into the corner every day <laughs> and it would just like sit there and I'm just like what what is that yeah but I never I never asked one day I had one teacher freaking use it uh-huh. once and the next day she didn't use it but she forgot and she took a normal marker to it <laughs> And you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, it fucks them up. So it permanently left a freaking marker streak, and she was just like, oh, oh, damn it. That, that's gotta be like the McDonald's ice cream machine, like, money pit or something. And it was funny as fuck watching the teachers that were determined to use it, and it wasn't anything special. They were like, look, I can erase it with one touch. I was like, ooh. like I, <laughs> I can do that by blinking. <laughs> I just f- f- erased everything just you forgot. said. <laughs> Fucking, like, the smart board. They didn't even do anything special, bro. I, I saw a teacher get used to using one. Well, I didn't watch them get used to it, but I saw a teacher who was used to using one, is what I mean. Uh, I think it was a sub we had one time. And nothing that the board did was convenient. Yeah, it was all stupid as fuck. It's like, I, I guess it's a board and, a, a t- like, you could put a worksheet on the board, I guess. So that would have been interesting. They had projectors. They had projectors from the 20s. Yeah, those were great. <laughs> I don't get it, dude. Fuck those things. Leave in the comments useless school shit. You know what was a useless school thing? Protractors. Yeah, how come... Do you remember, like, getting a school supply list? Yeah, they would get... They would and they be would like, be like, protractors. They would be like, you need four different kinds of ruler. You need the, the one that's, like, shaped like a bow. Yeah. Like a D. And then you need the one that's an angle. And I was just like, what do I need this shit for? I, did, I, I didn't take geometry until the last two weeks of high school where the teacher gave me, like, 30 credits or some shit. Yeah, that was dumb as fuck. Like, even when I did take geometry, we didn't use that shit. I couldn't figure... It was like, am I going to be doing woodwork? I wouldn't mind that if I was doing woodwork, but they never had us doing cool shit like that. Mm-hmm. Actually, no, that's not true. It wasn't until I went to I went to the bad kids' school that they were like, here's how you do machining and coding, and here's how you do weight training. I wish, like, the teachers had the budget and time to collaborate with each other so they could all build on each other's lessons. Like, some of the, like, English and history <sighs> teachers would try to do that together if they're, they were, like, good friends. Yeah. But if the whole school could get on that page, everyone would fucking excel. Yeah. Well, I mean, if the teacher tried to teach, yeah. <laughs> Remember those packet work motherfuckers? I had a teacher that was worse than that. She would she would do actually the same exact thing every week. It would go like this. It was my history teacher, so it was three times as boring. <laughs> so it was... Every two days, we would get a vocabulary thing. And this vocabulary sheet would be, write out the word. It was three boxes. The shortest one on the left, write out the word. The middle one, define it. The rightmost one. Use it in a sentence. Draw a picture. Uh Oh. Now, this picture was about the size. It was like a two-inch by two-inch square. Draw a picture of the Industrial Revolution, asshole. Draw dick. Draw dick for everything. Draw a picture about the process of turning frickin' iron into steel. An upside down dick. I always drew stick men. <laughs> and they were always doing something relevant. I'm a frickin' genius. I know you are. I had, like, I remember for the steel one specifically, I had these two dudes, like, <sighs> blowing into a frickin' big vat of steaming iron. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, yeah, you add oxygen to, to you add oxygen to You're it. You're so cute. It was freaking brilliant. Oh, and, and I remember for the, uh, for like, something about the railway, I just drew a dude with a top hat and a mustache holding a bag of money with a big train in the background. And I was just like, you, what do you want? What do you want? You're not looking at these. Mm-hmm. I also, that same teacher was like, Abraham Lincoln did have slaves, but he treated them well. George Washington had slaves, but he treated them well. By well, do you mean taking their teeth and putting them in his mouth? Yeah, it was like he, he had slaves. <laughs> I hate how people are like, yeah, back then everyone had slaves. You, you can't fault them. It was like... Uh, <laughs> beating your wife was standard for the freaking... It's just like standard practice up until like yesterday. 
sending I'm, your I'm, children to I'm a fucking making a premonition. factory. I'm making a premonition that we will have, as a society, as a, as a, as a unit, as a, as a human race, we will have eradicated domestic violence by the time this, this podcast goes up. That's why I promise to you, I want domestic world. retaliation. Dem- <laughs> We got a we got a forty four four fifty. It's domestic retaliation. <laughs> Need you to show up and say you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I wish dudes would take it. You know what's terrifying? Like I've I've mentioned. Oh yeah. I've mentioned multiple times. One of my biggest fears is for having to prove a negative. Um, and that's basically proving you didn't do something. Uh, but like just when when a dude has to call the cops on a chick. It sucks. They don't take you freaking seriously. They, yeah. And that's... It, it sucks so bad because it's like... Isn't this the most believable situation? Because she has the social power to act like this. Yeah. And it's 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 never that freaking twisted. It's always the most bonkers story where it's like... Yeah, the cops showed up. She was hanging from the ceiling, speaking Latin backwards, and bleeding from every pore. And they walked up and said, I don't know who to believe. It's insane. It's like, I... <laughs> it's, it's one of my biggest fears, is that I'm going to beat the shit out of you one day and they're going to arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it it's... <sighs> oh, he just knocked your hair tie down. You left it in a stupid place. <laughs> I like how you started immediately taking things seriously. You're like, I want to talk politics on this show. I was like setting up for a joke. What? You just died. Like you took on this really sincere face. It's like your eyebrows just became really like pained. You had like a pained expression. I was like, yeah, this is sad, but we're not going to fix the world on our freaking seven viewer podcast. Which, hey, by the way. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I want to kiss him too. Go ahead. It's, it's weird if we do it too close. Hold on. What if we, what if you kiss that side? I'll kiss this side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's your 8D audio for the night. <laughs> what does 8D mean? Eight dimensional. <laughs> Eight directional. I don't know. <laughs> it always just sounds like somebody's got a speaker on a freaking ceiling fan. <laughs> No, it's a little face going, <laughs> What? <laughs> if you rotate it, it looks like a face with big eyes going, ah. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. XD audio. I, I didn't understand what you were saying at all. I was like, how do you rotate sound? Have I lost you? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there's a disorder where you can see sound. Yeah, I've heard about that. I don't like that. I don't like that idea. Well, it's like those people that they see colors as numbers or something, oh, yeah, yeah, or like yeah. the opposite. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I, th- that's that's like one of those things that's po- impossible to explain. It's and so interesting, though. I, yeah, I know. That, like, like, can I trigger it? Upon hearing that, I was like, I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm not gonna de- I'm not gonna devote my life to the science to verify this. Instead, I'm going to say, wow, we live in an abstract world, and it's worth it, broadening my perspective to understand things. Oh, about like the magic thing. You were mentioned earlier about about like spell casting and how <sighs> silent spell casting is a stupid concept. I mean it is, but that that more came from the idea of like watching like a superhero struggle to shoot a beam. You know, like like more specific where did this come from? I just pulled a sheet out of my ass. <laughs> yeah. It's like a whole string of scarves. <laughs> Uh, At the end, they turn brown. More, it, <laughs> more specifically, I was talking about like. Oops, that's my intestine. You watched that video too. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you did for the joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't hear my nodding. <laughs> yeah, I think you could. You can hear this phone microphone picks up a surprising amount of stuff. You can definitely hear Titan playing right now. Yeah, like the camera's a piece of shit, but the microphone knows what's up. I wouldn't talk bad on this phone. Thanks, FBI people. <laughs> the FBI made my phone. Um, was I saying? Oh yeah, because I was thinking about okay. Um, Captain America, right? Mm-hmm. He grabs onto a, the helicopter and then he grabs onto the the helipad. Yeah. He, ah. He's holding the two together. Mm-hmm. You buy that struggle. Mm-hmm. 
freaking WandaVision or whatever the hell her name is. What's her freaking name? Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Scarlet Witch. I can't remember. Scarlet Witch is trying to like rip the gauntlet off of Thanos' hand. Mm-hmm. Why is this hard to do? You know, it really looks like she's struggling. And in my mind, like, instead of it being like she's grabbed onto something and she's pulling it really hard, it's like, with her mind, she has grabbed onto something and she yanks on it, but the hand goes through it. So the <laughs> the struggle and the focus, or the struggle comes from her focusing, trying to get the hand to stay solid for long enough. Well, I see it also as like there's a magical bind keeping it to Thanos like there's a protection totally possible around totally it. possible we don't know the properties of the whole properties of the infinity stones right yeah but that's what I'm talking about is like what are the properties of her magic that make it so she's trying to make it a physical thing yeah like like how basically how do you think hard mm-hmm so like instead of Instead of like thinking hard, she shows physical strain, and that's what I was. That's what I was thinking when I was like, "Silent spellcasting is stupid," because ideas do not cost you energy. So what should be hard is it's like, oh, I screwed up the freaking magic word, and then like once you get to the higher level spells of like, I want to blow up the whole world, you need to say so many magic words that it takes a month unbroken. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, you need a fucking amplifier. Like, you have to build something, or... Yeah, th like, there has to be some kind of give. If there's going to be something that's difficult with magic, there has to be something difficult about it, instead of just saying, it's hard. Well, I always go back to it, like, that, like, th I watched, um, you know, The Witcher when it was still attempting, you know, something. Mm. And so, so, they did the battle, um... I forgot which hill it was. It's been a while. They did a magic battle. They did a big magic battle. Probably the best that I've, I've ever seen. Fucking cool. Mm. Um, but Broomhilda or whatever, that fucking bitch comes over and, like, they frown upon fire magic because it takes a life energy. Every, every, like, you can't create something from nothing, right? Mm. So what are you going to create fire from? Fire is energy. Fire is life force. Okay. So they have mages that are basically, like, fucking suicide bombers. And it's like, you're good for one fucking fireball. And then they just fucking... You're Chao Tzu. <laughs> they fade away, or she harnesses from them. Like, it was fucking cool. Yeah. I was like, oh my god! That, that, like, that, that is in the same vein That's of... That's why Yennefer is so cool. Go on. That's in the same vein of, if you, you cast ice magic, does that ice melt, and can you drink that water? Hmm. Hmm. Because it's, it's like, it, if you're just casting this shit for free, where is, like, like, Skyrim, your magic regens, I think. Does it? In, I don't know, I, but I was thinking of my, my favorite fantasy series, the Stormlight Archives, and, like, they have, they are able to, like, manipulate gravity and things like that. Um, so... There's this girl, she's able to make things, like, slippery? I don't know how else to explain it. But her metabolism is fucking crazy. So, after she uses her magic, she just fucking eats. That That's something else, too, is that, like, she's got an upper limit on what she... Because, like, she can only eat as much as her stomach can hold. Because her body needs to go through its Yeah, she can't, like, processes. store it for later, but yeah. if she's, she's... Like, if she meets, eats in the middle of a battle, that's good for her. I, but... <laughs> well, does, is not limited by her digestive process? No, her shit's fast. Oh, you said it was fast. I'm stupid. Yeah. Well, but her even body at, burns it really quickly. At that point... So she's, like, always hungry? <laughs> eating a potato while standing in her inks? <laughs> <laughs> um, Basically. Uh... Eat, uh, I was about to say the same thing twice. Th that's a little dumb to me, because it's You'd like you'd get uh, it if you read it. I like it. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think it sounds dumb on paper, but then it it's like made into the system, and yeah, okay, fine, I accept it. Yeah, because you're never gonna have like infinite food. Yeah. In fact, I could f I could see a situation in which it's like I'm climbing a mountain right now. If I made things slippery, that would make the situation thirty thousand times worse, and I'm already hungry. Mm-hmm. 
I buy that. I, I buy that. I I uh, I jives with that. I like magic systems. On the on the on the whole magic thing, this is a kiss magic system thing. Uh, I was thinking about like you know the struggle to hold somebody down. Yeah. So let's say I want to cast a spell that would like bind. That would like yeah it would it would be like like a big haunter hand comes and grabs your head and holds you in place. Yeah. The, I would need to say the words, right? It'd be like. Funny hand, grab her head. Well, we also agreed that, like, doing some sort of action, like, either, like, lighting a candle or cutting your hand. There's got to be something. Something has to be exchanged. Like, if, if I were to, like, carve out, like, a rune and then bleed on it, like, I had to cut my hand to bleed on it to activate it, and then I threw it like a Pokeball, and then a little imp came out, mm -hmm. I would buy that. I could buy that. Yeah. It's like, really? That's all it takes? It's like, I... If I do it again, I'm gonna get woozy. Yeah. 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 But the pe like that's the thing like that that is a pet peeve of mine of like watching these fucking like Netflix shows where people will literally just stand there and go, mm. and I'm like, what the fuck? What What's even crazier is watching somebody just wave their hand and then a continent just freaking breaks off into space. Like, I get bored. I get bored immediately. I don't buy that the, that you're such a higher level than everybody else. Yeah. I, I think that, like, what, well, then you solve every problem or you win. Well, even in Pokemon, the, they fucking exert themselves. Like, Pikachu has to go, yeah, to fucking shock people. It, yeah. And it, it, it's finite. They started making, making it later the battles better. So, like, Pikachu gets tired by the end. Pikachu was tired in the original series. It was awesome. It was like only Charmander sometimes. would get sick, you know? Like it <sighs> it was only sometimes. But like that's the way it should be. Apparently actually never mind. That wasn't even relevant. It's like why well, I like John Wick. He does get tired. He never shits. He spends the whole movie tired. Yeah. Like by the end of the first movie, he's freaking exhausted. And he still has to keep going. And then there's the second movie. The whole second movie, he's freaking tired. Mm -hmm. And then the third movie, he looks like shit. The fourth movie, he's cracking jokes, and so is so is the other characters about like, why are you still doing this? And he's just like, he's not even. <laughs> he he's like. <sighs> Every time he has to climb stairs or yeah, something, but like he's fucking over it. I love it. Oh, I feel it. Just like think about moving in, like our moving oh day. My fucking god. Okay, now. Do it again. While pull, pull, also throwing books at people's heads at the pull, right angle. Pull everything out of Jesse's room. Mm. Pack it up. No. Bring it downstairs. I don't wanna. You, no. I'm throwing shit off the balcony. Fuck you. But that's not how that's not how John Wick would do it. <laughs> John Wick would have walked everything down the I stairs. I know, he would very efficiently make sure that everything got to where it needed to go. God, I don't, I don't have that kind of energy. I always, I always revisit the same example of like being tired. It was Nathan Drake in the desert? He comes up and I think he gets like two drinks of water and then immediately he's fine. He's like, bro, yeah, your brain was just baked. So that's like, here's the thing: is like, there's that argument of like, oh, well, it's not realistic, and like, this is like, everybody's had this conversation, right? But I'm not. It, <sighs> things don't have to be hyper realistic right but just because it's about ghosts doesn't mean that the world isn't required to have some sort of logic the world has to follow its own motherfucking rules it's and called limits. internal consistency that one and, and that shit is so fucking important th but beyond that not not necessarily beyond that i want to add on to it mm. but rather by saying not just like pretending like pr not lampshading this mm -hmm. problem makes the conflicts more interesting oh yeah like if nathan drake what he got like two drinks of water and then noticed oh shit i have to fight these guys like these are the guys th they're looking for me mm -hmm. but he was all like hallucinating and like seeing mirages and stuff what if he just was like oh shit they freed a bunch of bulls and then he starts shooting and then they disappear and it's like oh there was nothing there that'd be cool and he didn't actually shoot because he couldn't muster the power in his trigger finger it's like yeah okay like that that would be interesting you could do some interesting stuff there but then it's just like hey we just have a fight a sequence where you fight dudes in the desert mm -hmm. is, that really, is that really interesting no what does that have to do with the setting mm -hmm. why are we in the desert then yeah like i 
Your hero doesn't have to be on top of everything all the time. It's why I get bored with like Tom Cruise fucking movies and stuff. Yeah, I watched him shatter his hip like five times in one of the Mission Impossible movies and I was just like, you shouldn't be okay. Yeah. That's like, you can't just slide down that. Geralt gets his ass kicked sometimes yeah. and he's tired and he wants to go nap. Oh God. He wants to go EP. There's that freaking trailer. I love it. It's for the, it's for Wild Hunt. Yeah. Uh, where like I have, you have no idea what he's doing. You just see him like putting like a bottle under a bucket in a barn and then he'll like go outside and like put some salt or something on the floor. Uh, and then he takes out like two potions and he puts them on a on a bench nearby or something And then he walks into the barn and he just sits And like the trailer like the meat of the trailer is him fighting one ghost mm -hmm. And he uses all of that shit. Yeah, he does and by the end like it's close like he keeps getting scratched and hit and like spooked and by the end of it, it's daytime. Yeah, he had to fight that ghost all night. That's the thing. He's the fucking man, but it takes a lot of work. You're like, yeah, it's like, yeah, that's a cool job, but it's not freaking easy. Yeah, he's good at it. He's so good at it because he does all that prep work. He doesn't rush into it like that. That's why all of his fucking buddies keep dying because they're stupid. It takes it takes a delicate touch, and and beyond that, it's like Geralt has to be able to navigate social situations too. Like, I, I think about, I think about, like, just, like, the unnamed SWAT team in Ready or Not. It's a game. Okay. He plays the SWAT team. Okay. Um, they have these really cool mechanics. That game's hardcore. Like, if you get, if you get shot in that game, you get shot once, and it's just like, where did you get hit? Was it the leg? You lost a shit ton of health, and you're moving slower. Did you get shot in the freaking body? Don't take another shot. Yeah. If you and get you're shot injured. in the shoulder, you should be okay, but you can't use that arm now. Like, it, it's like, did you take Hello. three bullets? You're dead. Yeah. It's it's like, it's like that kind of game. Um, and then it's like, you got to be careful not to shoot people, like civilians, who are idiots, by the way. Because sometimes, the, like, cop kicks a door in, points a freaking shotgun at you, mm -hmm. and says, hands up. You throw your hands up. And then reach for your pocket, pull out a phone, and take a picture. Do you expect to walk out of there? Mm -mm. Do you expect to reach the phone? Mm -mm. I was thinking, too, about, like, anime. And, like, I think that's a lot of my issue with it most of the time. Yeah. Like, like Guts? Guts gets tired. I love that. I fucking love, like, Shinji? Shinji get, needs to go take a shit. Yeah. I love that. But most anime... Oh, hold on, wait, I was going somewhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so those guys, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's like what a real SWAT guy has to deal with. Mm. Now, think about this. It's like, okay, you went through all that shit, you killed 15 dudes, and you got the hostage out. Okay, thank freaking God, everything went off without a hitch. That is, that is a situation resolving without a hitch. Mm -hmm. You had to kill 15 guys, all the while your life was in danger, somebody else's life was in danger, and you had no idea who was in the next room. Mm -hmm. You had to check every corner. You had to trust that your teammates were focused. Okay, sleep tonight. Go home, lie down, mm -hmm. rest. Mm -hmm. and, and then, tomorrow? Do it again. Talk to your freaking family. Aww. But Geralt, he can do that. And then he has to go to a ball. Yeah, well, I mean, th that's that's an extreme. I'm talking more about how he's like, he's still streetwise. Like, he he'll only talk to people he has to talk to. Yeah. Because it's freaking hard. Yeah. To be a part of society, when you're a soldier or a warrior. He talks to his horse. Yeah, like what? Like one of my favorite moments was he was manipulating this guy, uh, as part of a quest. And he's like, like a wood carver or something. Mm. He's, a, he's a carpenter, I think. And the guy's like, uh, you know, that guy's a freaking idiot who you went to. And he's like, yeah, I'd rather take the work of a skilled artisan over a sloppy artist any day. And that gets him in, that gets his foot in the door. And I was just like, oh, you freaking finessed him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, yeah. He's a clever motherfucker. Yeah, and you have to be. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. But he's still got the spirit to help an old lady with her pan. Yeah, her pan. Oh. My pan. I was going to say about like anime is like, they have these big stakes, you know? I thought of meat. <laughs> Um, and, and they're, they're asking me to take everything so serious. Yep. But you got, you got Raftalia over there with her big tits, fucking crying. Mm hmm And my character, who has no brains whatsoever, who can, who can fight until the plot says he can't anymore. Like, it's, it's, you, you, you gotta pick something, man. My, like, my ultimate example of anime stakes meaning nothing is always going to be one piece luffy is exhausted then he has a fight with crocodile he gets impaled with a hook impaled not hooked so the blunt end of the hook goes through his body so crocodile has half an arm through luffy's body crocodile pulls the hook out and then uses his sand powers to pull Luffy under the sand. Luffy is impaled, he's bleeding out, we don't know what organs were damaged, and he's suffocating in the sand. Yeah. In the middle of the desert. Mm -hmm. He somehow finds his way back to a nearby city, whereupon the only word he says is meat, they give him meat, and there's not even a freaking scar. Yeah. If you look at Luffy's modern design, there's a big X in the middle of his chest. Mm -hmm. I thought that's where the X came from. No. It, it just, you can't turn consequences on and off. That's something that drove me nuts. Apparently, you remember the fight with Arlong. You remember how it ended? Lu he was, Ow. okay, so Luffy starts beating his ass, right? Luffy shoots his freaking leg all the way up through that tall, tall tower they lived in mm -hmm. and kicks Arlong in the head. He does an axe kick onto Arlong's head, onto his head, and crushes him through every floor, and I think he levels the whole building. Mm -hmm. So Arlong had ju was just crushed under a building mm -hmm. after somebody kicked him with a foot that was in moving at, skull in the back of his at head. At mock speed. At Mach 5. <laughs> through a building mm -hmm. so he's also buried in rubble apparently he's still alive like I understand like you know it's anime and they're strong and they have powers I can get behind that but it has to be consistent and like with one, like with anime and One Piece in particular a lot like the, the rules only apply when the plot says so the rules only apply if you're a side character. Or not even a side character, a background character. Yeah. They, they'll kill you when they need motivation, like, for the character. But other than that, you're basically invincible. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, I don't care. And I'm not saying, like, again, like, it doesn't have to be hyper-realistic. You've got shit like JoJo's. Everything's bonkers. I can still get invested in these characters, but it's fine that they can keep going. Because I know, like, the rules of the world... I don't know if you do. I don't know if anybody could. It, it's it's well, I, just, it feels consistent with itself. When it comes to JoJo's, it's less about who's... It, it's less about the attacks and more about... No, 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 hold on. How do I phrase this? I just had it in my head. Oh, oh, oh. It's less about who's going to lose and more about how. Yeah, yeah, it's the how. Um... And that's the thing. Like, I can't, I can't stand watching these animes where all they do is punch each other. It's like, that's why I could never get into Dragon Ball. Don't get me wrong, it's fun. Yeah. But when it comes time to fight, I don't give a fuck, bro. It's always about the bigger number until it's suddenly about the bigger beam. Mm -hmm. Now, I freaking like a big beam, but I also like some weight to my consequences. Like... I've had fun watching a slugfest. Somebody's got to freaking die, though. Dude, Powerpuff Girls did it right. Oh, yeah, they did. My Little Pony did it right. Oh, somehow. Somehow, Lauren Foss just was just like, hey, let's just not make this shit. Fucking Shield Hero? Who gives a fuck? That show's awful. That show sucks, dude. You guys didn't believe me. <sighs> it was bad. I never 
said it was good. I just said I was enjoying it. And then you said it was good. You and Jesse said it was good. You said, no, this one's good. And I said, why? Well, I've been changing my language. Yeah. Since. He's under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy under the bed. He's never had an under the bed to explore with us. Yeah. I still don't like it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll come around one day. He's a baby. But yeah. When like when it's when it comes to anime fights, there's gotta be there's gotta be something to it. Like mm. there's gotta be some kind of a give. Like like if if it were me, I'd just be like on, on on like the back end, I would be like, okay, my main character can take thirty punches at this like stage of the story. Mm. Uh the villain can take ninety. Can my guy punch him ninety times? Yeah, it's like, can I see the HP bar and 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 the the PP? You know, <laughs> like, can, can I do the calculations when it when it becomes like, you know, just ridiculous fucking numbers? You know what I mean? It's like, ugh, what's the fucking point? Like, why am I gonna get invested in this part of it? Yeah, I mean, that's how everybody feels. It's just it's like, well, there's a billion stars in the sky, and it's like, yeah, okay. Oh. You know, you recognize the number billion. Well, it's like I don't like we had a fr like Luigi. He really likes Dragon Ball. Yeah, and it's like I Mexican people do. <laughs> well, he he took us to go see the Broly movie. That shit was hype. It was it was hype. It was cool, but you know he asked what I thought of it, and as you know neat as it was, I didn't really see a difference between that and watching the show. I was like, yeah, it was a big fight. I would say, I would say if that was their goal, that's, that's the benchmark. No, it was cool. But like, I don't know. It, it's like, like, I don't watch Demon Slayer because I'm invested in, in Tanjiro's struggle or whatever. I, I watch it because I like the way the characters interact with each other. And oh my God, the animation team. Oh my God. No. What? The art direction. That one, that one, that one, that one. Fucking gorgeous. Like, those fights? I'm not invested in who wins or loses, necessarily. I'm there to see how the fuck well, it all plays out. It's fucking gorgeous. It's, it's that old problem. is like, is, is Tanjiro going to lose? No. He's not going to freaking lose. Is Boarhead going to lose? No. Oh, is Shiromite, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, it, who's... Are these guys gonna freaking... No, they're not gonna lose. Yeah, like, I'm not attached to, you know... It's not about... It, it, journey before destination, man. I'm there to see the big explosions and, and that struggle. And then they give Nezuko another form, and it's, it's like... It's got huge tits, and I'm like, oh, okay. It, apparently, I, I need to catch up, though. Like, Apparently it got better, yeah? Yeah, the Swordsmith Village arc, nobody liked it. We all tuned out, and then apparently whatever just came out was great. Absolutely freaking lost me. Like, the, 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 the spider chick was already, like, I was like, all right. Uh, yeah, but then Tits McGee came out. Yeah, and then I, I was just like, I'm out. Yeah, with her and, little heart windows. And then I freaking, you, you like, I saw the Nezuko form where they, in, they, they grew her up, and she had a fat ass set and I said like what well, like you had it you had a cute design looked interesting she had interesting abilities then you just gave her a freaking you gave her a freaking fat pair he and couldn't help himself man. how did that change her abilities it changed nothing all it did was visually signify she is bigger and stronger now did but it that need doesn't mean anything in an anime fight no it doesn't it doesn't and that that's that sucks like she could have just started glowing red and got taller, you know what I mean? But they were like, let's give her tits. I, that's the thing, like, we got into it. Cause I was like, I don't care, it's fine. And I still think whatever, but I do agree with you that it is unnecessary and it's just like, oh, God damn it. It cheapens the character. It does, it does. Cause like, I, I, as it is, Nezuko is basically a pair of eyes. She's adorable. And it's her actions that end up meaning something. Mm -hmm. So, She's eepy. Yeah, like, she's just, like, a cute girl, and, oh, I want to feed her and stuff, and, like, she just reacts to things. She never speaks. So... And then the manga, mangeka was like, what if you wanted to fuck her? And it was like, ah! What if... What if... A body pillow form, <laughs> activate! What if you aren't weird and had that feeling? Yeah. What if I made it legal for you to want a banger? Yeah, it is... Like... like 
Her mama wasn't built like that, so why is she? Well, we never saw the mama he like did. that. Well, I mean, she was dressed in like poor people baggy clothes. Like, why wasn't Nezuko? No. Uh, I don't know. It's. It's. I think. It I, I, I would, think it cheapens the character because her whole thing is, oh, she's cute and she like, she's really sweet, and then oh, she's super duper strong, right? But then it's like, oh, she's also got sex appeal for what? If she, if the sex appeal could be turned into a weapon, I'd be into that. Like, if no. she could, no, no, no. If she could lure, like, like, you know, the rival enemy demons, no, with her titties, I'd be like, fine, maybe that, it's a distraction. Is that something Nezuko would do? No. Then no, it's not interesting. Because then it just it, it she she just splinters into another character. Well, it's yeah, it's the same thing with the freaking with the with the uh, uh, the gummy gummy worm hair bitch. She's got very pleasant colored hair. <laughs> What's her name? It's yellow and pink, I think. She's the only other one who's got her freaking bounces out. You talking about the love Hashira? I don't know. She's got bounces. And the, she's like running down the stairs and panting. The one you don't like from the season that we stopped watching, right? I think. I think she's a part of the crew. Part of the crew? No, there's no other girl. Okay, maybe she, if she was for a minute, I don't know. Like, love sounds right because she does have pink on her design. Uh, but yeah. her, right? Well, that, I mean, that's her thing if she's got tits. Like, it's. But, but. Is it her thing? Or is that just a part of her design? I didn't watch that season and I didn't care about her, so I don't know. That's that's what I'm talking about. They where, implied that that was her thing. Like, if her if her thing is, like, lo- love Hashira is, like, okay, I don't know what that means. I don't know what Hashira means. Master. Like, love master? Okay, fine. Uh, I like the guy that cries all the time. I'll get there. No, I'll get there now. His hair is, like, droopy. Mm-hmm. Because he's like dope, he's a freaking dope. Mm-hmm. So his hair's all droopy, but he's also got these really hard lines on his uh, shirt. <laughs> their designs speak so, to their and, character. And because he's like lightning, he's like, you don't make oh, sense. Oh yeah, like the flame Hashira, he was all fucking wild. And his freaking coat fluttered. Mm-hmm. So it was like a it was like a coursing flame. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, she's the love Hashira. And it's like, okay, what does that mean? Tits. She breathes a lot, and she squeaks when she yells, and she's a girl. Mm-hmm. What does this have to do with an open blouse? If her thing was seduction, I'd be, I'd say fine. Yeah, I don't know what she does, because I stopped watching it's, that it's, it's the, it's, <laughs> arc. It's the same thing as freaking My Hero. It's like, they're 15. Oh, my Why God. Why are they yeah. naked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that one... Like, that's the thing, too, is, like, I another one where I'm, like, okay, I, I like the side characters. I like seeing them dicking around at, like, summer camp or whatever. When they fight, I stop giving a shit. I'm, like, ugh, and I go back to crocheting. Like, w- in the first episode when the giant lady was, like, oh, pleased to meet your ass acquaintance. Like, that stuck in my head because I was, like, okay, one... You have anime ass, which means you o- you only have it when they want to give it to you, mm-hmm. and otherwise you don't have ass. I... Two, that wasn't clever. Three, you're a giant lady. Unless I... you're secretly the freaking author's fetish, this is not a part of your ability. I need more stories about women with big asses knocking bottles down as they try and walk by a table. The real struggles. <laughs> I just I want these designs to mean something because as it is like Do you want them to be better uh, well better whatever it's like I just super better I want them to mean something because I'm seeing like Zen the Zone Zero ads everywhere and it's like these a lot of the characters are just dressed in like street clothes and it's like yeah that's what fashion looks like but then I take a like I see a lot of those design elements and it's just like why are they just still hypersexualized though? It's so freaking tiring. Well, that's what sucks too is like a, a lot of the time I feel like I've been fucking baited. Like I was I was watching um so I'm a spider so what and she's literally a cute little spider. It was great. It was fucking awesome. It was really interesting watching her learn to master this new form. Yeah, she was she was learning her surroundings, her abilities. You know, she did the video game thing. She was leveling up. And it was cool. And then it's like, okay, I'm getting stronger. What else can I do? 
oh, I have to take on the outside world. Okay, that's cool. Like, it was cool as fuck. And then randomly, they took a break to focus on elf politics. And as, I was like... As every isekai does. And, and that's, when you, that's when it's like, okay, it's time to hit the button to get out. But I was like, no, maybe this time will be different. And then she got a new form and she had tits. And I was like... And how... D- how does this feed into the character? You're not a spider anymore. I was here because you were a spider, and now you're not a spider. So I'm gone. I'm done. Fuck you. I think I think the moment I realized the show was going to be awful was the lolly demon. Yeah. Like that was that was immediately I was like just just I saw the Mega Man X danger <laughs> came up, and I I was just like dude. We should probably get out of here. Well, it's like when we were watching Ascendance of the Bookworm, and then we made it through, like, season... One, which one, was awesome. Which was awesome. And then she gets to, like, the church, and then it just starts becoming, like... The most... Boring shit Boring ever. shit! And I was... I, I remember I was she really... Didn't, she didn't get sex appeal, but it just turned into weird politics yeah, again. Yeah, I was gonna say, is this an isekai that doesn't have a countdown to weird political story? And nope, it was all politics all the time they were like oh no the neighboring kingdom wants magic and here's the ring i was like i don't care about all that i'm here for this girl to get her fucking books made she hasn't done shit I know. with paper in I like know. four episodes she was like teaching people how to write and stuff and it was she like she was like trying to navigate like you shouldn't know how to do this and then it's just like suddenly it's just like the scrote kingdom wants to touch you <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, oh, we have this blood feud that goes back three generations. Like, why would Let she... me tell you about it for 20 minutes. She just wants to read books, man. Let her read. Was so interesting for a minute. Fuck. Ah. It's not fair. <sighs> anyway. Maybe maybe next time we'll find an anime that's better. No, we won't. We won't. Anime shit. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, okay.